So let's talk about the treatment. Do antihistamines, you know, if somebody's got allergies, we've got Claritin and Allegra and Zyrtec and those families, do they help the eyes much? They do, you know, they're, those are not strong medications. They're long acting and non-sedating, but they're not very strong medications. Uh, you know, we'd probably look more to put the antihistamine drops into the eyes opposed to just taking regular antihistamines. So antihistamine drops. So let's start talking about the treatment. Uh, what kind of drops do you like to use first off? Well, the fastest response typically tends to be the vasoconstrictor drops, and you'll see a, a the CON, a NAFCON, or an ALCON. There'll be some sort of a CON constrictor, or it'll say on the package gets the red out, and those you know are, are vasoconstrictor drops. You can't keep using them for long periods of time because you'll get a rebound redness. It looks like you've had too much to drink sometimes. Uh, so you have a limited time, probably a week or two, to use those vasoconstrictor drops. And then you have a variety of antihistamine drops and what we call mast cell, cell stabilizers. Well, what is a mast cell? Mast cell is the allergic cell. It contains all the histamine and all the factors in there that cause all the itching and the redness and the swelling. And they're just full of those, those compounds. And upon pressure on the eyes or an allergic re reaction, it releases all those in large amounts. And so that's what causes itching, redness, hearing drives you crazy. Absolutely. You know, people are just clawing at their eyes. What's a, what's a good antihistamine eye drop? Well, there are a variety of the antihistamine eye drops, both over the counter and prescription. The prescription ones tend to be very expensive. Uh -huh. And they'll have uh, my favorite, Zatador. I think you were talking earlier. That's one of your favorites as well, too. It's a very effective antihistamine. Now, Zatador, you can get that over the counter. That's correct. And uh, how does it work? Well, it's, it's an antihistamine, so it's going to help prevent mast cell degranulation, and most importantly, it's going to block the histamine receptors. So you might release that histamine, but it's going to be blocked when it gets to the receptors to cause the redness and the swelling. It works pretty good. It's, so it's that's pretty good Zatator, sure. and you can get that over the counter. Uh, how about a prescription antihistamine eye drop? We have a number of prescription an uh, antihistamine eye drops. Uh, I brought a couple of them here, uh, Pataday and Bepreve. Uh, these eye drops can also be used if you wear contacts. You have to put them in 20 to 30 minutes before application of your contacts, but uh, they're pretty effective, uh, expensive, but effective. Now let's go back to the contacts. Why can't you put these on top of a contact? Well, they, they can actually get into the contacts, especially the uh, permeable contacts. Some of these are, have a lot of water in them and, and they'll absorb those drugs and, and give you uh, uh, too much in there, basically. Maybe a cloudy membrane and, Absolutely. and uh, uh, you have to get some new contact lenses. Exactly. So you wake up in the morning, you take your contact out at nighttime. Mm -hmm. You can put a drop in at nighttime if you need it. Sure. Wake up in the morning, what do you do in the morning? Put, a, put another drop in there first thing when you get up. And a drop in each eye. Absolutely. And then how long do you have to wait before you put in your contact? Uh, 20 to 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes. Yes. Uh, so you still get the results if you put the contact over the eye that That's you put correct. the eye drops in. That's correct. And um, what kind of relief do the patients tell you they get with these? Uh, modest relief. I mean, this is a, by the time the patient comes to see us in the office, they're miserable. They've typically rub their eyes a lot, a lot of swelling around their eyes, and it feels good when you do it, but as soon as you stop, you, you wish you hadn't done it. Uh, you've got another one here, Opcon A. Now, uh, patients have tell, uh, tell me that stings a little bit. Yes. So some of the antihistamine The antihistamine stings. stings, and sometimes the vasoconstriction drugs sting as well too, but you've already have an irritated eye, but if you want fast results, you want to use the combination of those two drugs. Can you recall any allergic eye that's the worst you've ever seen? Somebody came in, tell me about it. The worst I see, and I see one about once a year where they're, they're so, their eyes are so swollen, the whites of their eyes are so swollen that they puff up and, and sometimes they have trouble closing their eyes. You know, I, the first time I saw that tie, a patient had, it looked like jello over the sclera, and I thought somebody had ruptured their eye. I had never seen that in training. And actually, that's just edema there in the conjunctiva right there. If somebody has really bad eyes and you're afraid the antihistamine won't work well enough, is there anything else you could do? 
Well, you know, we can use, there are other eye drops you can use. You have the Mastel stabilizers, the, the chromalins they're called. Those take a while to, to start working. You have anti-inflammatory, both uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory and steroid eye drops too. So can you put in steroid eye drops, cortisone eye drops we in do. somebody who's got allergic eye? We like to have the ophthalmologist follow with us on those patients. Uh, you have to be very careful. There can be other problems involved there. And if there are, if there's a, an infection in the eye, you could potentially make it worse. Uh, but they rec recommend following with an ophthalmologist if you're gonna use the, the cortisone eye drops. So you've got antihistamine eye drops, you've got the mast cell where the allergy stuff comes from, uh, you've got anti-inflammatory drops and you've got constrictors there and then you've got, so you've really got a good armamentarium of eye drops.